Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I went to the food bank and this is the one I can go to once a month. I go in and shop. They didn't have tons of stuff there but they did have a lot of items that we could use. I'm out of breath from carrying it up all the stairs. But yeah, let's check out what we got. Alright, so I got all these bags of groceries. I haven't even got them unloaded. I barely just got it in the house. Plus I got those items and another item. Um, on the counter, but I'm going to hurry and get it all unboxed because I have some frozen items I've got to get back in the freezer. So, let me just hurry and get this unboxed and I'll show you what, what's in there. Alright, we will start with the cold just because i got to get it back in the fridge quick and the freezer. Alright, we were allowed one seafood item. They only had one when I got to that area of the store and so I took this. It was yellowfin tuna. I'm sure Mitch will enjoy that. I mean, it sounds good to me. He's been really liking tuna fish sandwiches. I mean, you could just fry that up. I don't know exactly how you would cook it, but I'm sure there's a Google recipe out there or something on YouTube. Or If you guys have a great way that you would repair this, there's looks like there's two steaks. That would be great. I would love to hear how you would, how you would uh, prepare that. All right. For our beef, you got one large, which I was so confused. I ended up choosing this for my large because I think these are big too, but... So I got this for my large. Look at how much it would have been. 26, 23, 20, 38, like $50 just in this row of meat that, oh my gosh, such a blessing. We have ran out of food this month. Not out of food, but like out of food stamps. So I couldn't buy anything that we were out of. It was, it was hard. And uh, so I'm so grateful for this. Um, all this meat. Oh, you're just so feeling so blessed. So for my large one, I chose a top round roast. I figure this is big. This is um, three pounds. That's at least three meals. Two, three meals. I'm going to probably cook this in a slow cooker. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to maybe like um, shredded beef. I was going to say pulled pork, but pulled beef, whatever, where you just kind of sh let it fall apart in your crock pot and use it for like tacos, nachos, burritos, things like that. Um, and then I got this. Um, we're not big steak people. Probably because of our income, we don't usually buy steak. It's expensive. Plus, I just don't know that anybody would uh, eat it. When we get steak, we end up making jerky out of it, or we cook it in the slow cooker. And this looks like a big old roast, too. It's a pound and a little over a pound and a half of beef, lend, and broil. So if there's another way to cook it besides just putting it in a crock pot that makes it tender, let me know what you would do, because I... It has to be tender enough. And this says peel steak. So I'm assuming you do this way. I mean, maybe I could just fry up little pieces. I don't know. Let me know what you think, what you would do if you had a, a beef lent and broil. And then this, it does say for slow cooking. I don't know what the peel means. It says peel on this and peel on this. I don't know what that means. Anyways, this is a Texas beef, barbecue beef brisket. So I don't know if it's got barbecue on it. Or, oh, it says stew meat. Why does it say that? Maybe it's stew meat that's from the beef brisket. I don't know. But anyways, these were my two small and this is my large. Way too much on beef. Let me know your, what you would do with these in the comments below because I can always use suggestions and I'm not going to be throwing these in the crock pot today. So, yeah. Um, okay, let's continue with the meat. We did get some other stuff. But over here, we got chicken. Uh, one large and one small. I did end up choosing both breasts just because it's easier for us. We're more versatile and Mitch doesn't like meat on the bones. I don't know why that is, but whatever. So boneless, skinless chicken breast, thin sliced, and then these are just regular breast. So there's billions of things you can do with chicken. I'm super excited to have those. And then this ground turkey, which we use it sometimes for um, in stir fries or tacos. We got a pound of that was the turkey I chose. They have this and then um, uh, turkey like in a tube. Same thing, but it was a pound of turkey. And then for my pork, I chose this small pack of pork chops. It's perfect for our family, just perfect amount. And then sausages, you got to pick two. And so I chose this pork sausage and this Italian pork sausage. I don't know, other than seasoning, what the difference is. And then in the extras, they had these uh, charcuterie trio. So salami, dry salami, and some other coat. I don't know, three different kinds of salami, okay? So I chose two of those. And then I also got the two things of pizza rolls. 
because you can just put these in your microwave or air fryer and they're really fast to cook and you don't heat up your house in the summer and this oh my gosh so they have this or a pack of turkey that was sliced but the turkey was like half the size so maybe two pounds this is five pounds of ham and I literally told Mitchell today do not make a ham sandwich because there's only a little bit of ham left and I'm gonna need it to make lunch for Cody for the next two days at dance and then I got this today oh my gosh so I guess he can have ham now if he wants it <laughs> so excited to have that all right and then I got this thing of blue bunny mini bars strawberry shortcake I need to get those in the freezer quick they're mini so I'm assuming I didn't really look that they have yeah so one of them has uh 14 carbs which is just the right amount to raise her blood sugar if it's low perfect and then i picked up this non-dairy frozen dirt dirt frozen dirt uh frozen dessert i've never had it um one of these last cody about a couple months she just has a little bit caramel chocolate with chocolate cookie swirls and globs of chocolate chips cookie dough peanut butter this would be good um if she's low as well just have a spoonful and then uh, two things of beef bologna, bologna, three things of heavy cream, and three of these um, Ready Whip almond milk. I've never had this before, but it only has got it's got less than one gram of sugar and only one carb. I bet it's delicious. What's the date? Oh, it's passed. Use it by March, March twenty third. But I bet it's still good. I'm sure it's good. In fact, we should we should probably we should probably test it out right now. Okay, let's let's just check it out right now. I don't know if any of you like whipped cream like this, but I've never had almond milk whipped cream, so we're gonna see. I'm sure it's good. Have you guys had it? <laughs> Watch me be like, <coughs> let's hope not. Okay. All right. Live on camera, unedited. If it's really gross, I'm gonna cut this out. So. I'm nervous. Maybe I should spray it on a spoon. No, I'm just gonna spray it in my mouth. Well, it's good. Kind of sprayed me. That's okay. Hold on. There's a lot of air in it. I wonder if that's why. Maybe I didn't shake it now. Mmm. Yeah. I, I agree. It's delicious. It's good. All right. I'm going to be having me some desserts later with the cream. Maybe I'll put that on my homemade ice cream. <gasps> yes. I forgot this cold item. <laughs> but I need to hurry and get this in the fridge. But it is chicken street tacos. Does that not look so good? Salsa, cilantro, lime, like chili sauce, there's cheese, the lettuce, and the tortillas. I think that's what we're going to be having for dinner tonight so so yummy we are so blessed we're so blessed right, let's start with this box it says used by july 7th 2023 now i don't know a lot about desperations but it says good till july 7th and we are just barely the beginning of june so a month to use these and it looks like shelf stable milk it says leche which is spanish for milk Grade A, I don't, I don't understand all of it. 25% calcium, 8 grams of protein. It's got vitamin A and D. There's the nutrition things. 12 grams of carbohydrates uh, from the sugar. But you know what? <laughs> that is a lot of great milk right there. It's good for over a month. Um, what does the small print say? Uh, oh, it's in Spanish, so it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> but uh, it says use it by that day. So we'll have it gone before then just to be safe. But yeah, look at that. So that's like at least a couple of gallons of shelf-stable milk. All right. And then let's see. What do we have? Where do we want to start? We'll start right here. we got a bag full of these clementine oranges. Most of them are good. There's a couple that are squishy, which I'll probably have to just chuck those. But the rest of them look really good. Two bags of whole shelled roasted almonds you could eat these you could blend them into butter i like to throw them in our smoothies if you haven't seen that in my previous videos um, i'll leave a link somewhere here i like to throw them in smoothies 
Um, if your blender's a good one, it'll chop them up into just, the liquefy into your smoothie. They're amazing. And it adds extra protein, fiber, heart health. Almonds are amazing. Oh, look, I said heart health, and it leads into our next thing. Heart health, organic sun chips. 100% whole grain. And then a box of this gluten-free cinnamon swirl crumble cake. That looks so good. And we got one roll of toilet paper today, but this is really soft. <laughs> and then a jar of peanut butter. I chose the bigger one because we eat a lot of peanut butter. Um, one box of cereal. I chose this one. Um, it is gluten-free, so that's good if you have an intolerance to gluten. Uh, we got three things off the like snack shelf, and they didn't really have a lot to choose from. So um, they had one of these, and I thought that might Cody might like that. And um, I got two boxes of these. It says breakfast, so maybe it's similar to a granola bar. That's what I'm thinking. It's like a granola bar, just like a cookie. And then I got two containers of oats. Uh, today at the food bank they had a class, and they showed us how to make a refrigerator or overnight oats. And gave us a recipe with all different alterations you could make. So I'm super excited to do that to meal prep. To make not just breakfast. But I could make them and take them to dance. And just eat that in the car. And it doesn't even have to be hot. Because it's hot outside. So I'm excited for that. And then I picked up three boxes. They had of sugar-free jello, jello pudding. I don't know why this says fat-free. I mean, these are fat-free too. But maybe it's just the way it's labeled. Anyways, um, you add fat by adding fat milk if you want it. I make them with protein shakes, so they're high protein too. And then they had one bag of Lily's milk chocolate baking chips, which are amazing if you're trying to eat less sugar, less carbs. They're so good. I picked up six, seven cans, sorry, of SpaghettiOs because Cody does like them and they are nice to have on hand. So if it's too hot, I don't feel like cooking, or I'm having a bad day, mental or physically, uh, she could just open that up and eat it. And I don't know about you, but when I used to eat SpaghettiOs, I'd eat them right out the can. I don't even have to warm them up. They're so good. But if you want to warm them up, put them in a dish and warm them up. Do not warm the can, unless you're at a camp. In a campfire, you can warm the can. And then I got five cans of pineapple chunks and one can of pineapple tidbits. Two cans of refried beans, three cans of diced tomatoes with green chili. So see this with that beef, ooh, we are set for some spicy, delicious food. And then these, there was a limit of six. It's like chocolate milk, but also shelf stable. Ooh, it looks good too. Lactose free. So it's um, ultra filtered milk, 14 grams of protein. These only have two more carbs than that white milk. How long are these good till? April of next year. Oh, yeah. Gosh, that was a good... That's a blessing right there. Okay. All of these are blessings. I just... I just... I keep thinking about how blessed I am, and so I verbally say it. But, yes, everything we received is a blessing. Um, I found this randomly sitting by the peanut butter, and I said, can I have this? And she said, yes. And so I put it in my cart. Stag chili. So good. I, we love chili. And I don't like to make it when it's hot summertime. I just like to occasionally eat it. And I like to have what I call it, I call it chili salad. It's like taco salad. So you have your lettuce, and instead of putting taco meat and stuff like that, you just put chili and cheese and whatever else you want, like salsa or whatever. So this is my meat when I have taco salad, or AKA chili salad. I picked up Athena baking powder, uh, one big thing of four cheese mashed potatoes in case Cody wants a shepherd pie or something during the summer, we'll have that. But yeah, so that is everything we got today at our local food bank that I was able to go in and choose my items. I am so grateful and so blessed that we have that food bank that we can go to. Even if sometimes the shelves are not packed, there's always some good stuff to choose. So you can always find something for your family. I hope and pray that if you guys need food, that you are not sitting there going hungry, that you go find a food bank near you. If you have the internet and you're watching my video, then you should be able to Google food bank near me or food drives or mobile food pantries. There's, you can Google search or Facebook search. There's so many out there. Some you just drive up and they load your car. There's got to be something near you. I pray you can find it if you need the food. There's no reason to go hungry. These items, I watched them going through these oranges, trying to pull out the ones that were really bad and just chucking them. So, like, say if nobody went there today, 
a lot of this food would get thrown away because it's it's rotting. But I can come home and I can juice it and I can make orange juice. I can, you know, freeze the juice. I can, you know, freeze the meat and save it and eat it later. So you need to go to the food banks and utilize them. Otherwise, they're going to just start throwing the food away if nobody's coming. All right, guys. Remember, be kind to yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. And remember that God loves you and so do we. And we will see you in our next video.